All right, guys, let's get into this. Let's pray. We're going to be in Proverbs 9 today. Father God, I want to come before you, Lord, and I just want to thank you, Lord, for everything that you do in my life, Lord. Help me to lean further into you and further away from this world with every day that passes, Lord. Help me to walk your walk, talk your talk, and sing your praises, Lord, in everything that I do. Amen. <clears throat> All right, guys. Proverbs 9. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn out her seven pillars. She has slaughtered her meat. She has mixed her wine. She has also furnished her table. She has sent out her maidens. She cries out from the highest places of the city. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. As for him who lacks understanding, she says to him, Come, eat of my bread and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness and live and go in the way of understanding. He who corrects a scoffer gets shame for himself, and he who rebukes a wicked man only harms himself. Do not correct a scoffer lest he hate you. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love you. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be still wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For by me your days will be multiplied, and years of life will be added to you. If you are wise, you are wise for yourself, and if you scoff, you will bear it alone. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knows nothing. For she sits at the door of her house on a seat by the highest places of the city, to call to those who pass by, who go straight on their way. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. And as for him who lacks understanding, she says to him, Stolen water is sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. But he does not know that the dead are there, that her guests are in the depths of hell. Alright guys, so this was kind of a short one today. And let's see, I wanted to point out that this is a really beautiful format here in Proverbs 9. It, it shows us the really dualistic nature of how a lot of the Bible is written. And I just, I think it's pretty. And... um so what I had wrote down here that I wanted to discuss with you guys is that this proverb is made up of two different competing invitations, one from wisdom and one from folly. The one from wisdom is six lines at the beginning. The one from folly is the final six lines. Both wisdom and folly are portrayed as women calling people to enter their dwellings. In, volume, in, in verses 1 through 6, wisdom invites the simple to eat of her life-giving food. Now in the final ones, in verses 13 through 18, Folly offers food that we see leads to death. And then in the middle, there's two different sets of three lines each to where we see a contrast between the scoffer and the wise. And I just think that's, I don't know, I think there's something beautiful in that, that the Bible is written in that dualistic way. 9.3 it says, She has sent out her maidens. She cries out from the highest places of the city. Wisdom servants are sent out to summon any who will hear her invitation to life. That can be us out there spreading the word, having something good to say to somebody. You know, uh, that's beautiful, guys. 9-5. Come, eat of my bread and drink of the wine I have mixed. I like the reference here to the banquet. You know, it's always a beautiful picture of redemption, man, in the Bible, I think, when they talk about the banquet. So there's a couple other verses I wanted to share with you guys if you want to dig a little deeper into this. Um, Isaiah 55-12, Matthew 22, 1 through 13, and 26, verse 29 in Matthew. Also, Revelations 19, guys. Beautiful, beautiful banquet imagery, man. If you guys want to dig into that and just see a little bit more of that. This was a short one today. God bless you guys. And I got one other thing to say. It's a good thing that we're all locked up in our houses away from each other. Because if I seen any of you guys out here watching my videos or sharing them, I'd kiss you right in the face. I love you guys so much. See you tomorrow.